You know, I, I sat back and began thinking to myself of all the greatest Warriors moments many of us remember, and to be quite honest with you, there are far too many to recall in a single video. But the truth is, I don't think there's been another franchise in the last two decades that has inflicted as much punishment as the Warriors on other teams. Punishment and the Warriors. Mmm. That reminds me. Durant ahead to Green! In NBA history in a playoff run is Curry. Back shot is good. Here comes Curry. Finds Durant. Durant for three. Bang! That might have been the most lopsided finals game of all time, considering the buildup and anticipation before game one. The Cavs and the Warriors split that season's regular season matchup with one win apiece, so fans all over the world knew that they were in for a treat with this final series. But the Warriors had other plans, finishing the game with an offensive rating of 113.6 and seeing Steph Curry and Kevin Durant combine for 66 points and nine three-pointers. This level of offensive firepower was unfair. That wasn't the first or last time, for that matter, that season that we saw the Warriors firing on all cylinders against the Cavaliers. The two teams met in January of that season in a rematch from Christmas Day. And speaking of that game, it was one for the ages. As Clay Thompson rushes up the floor, Durant quickly to the basket with authority. Love the outlet pass to James. Richard Jefferson drives into the paint and throws it down. They run this play every time. Pass inside to Green. And they got that against Detroit to play. Curry on Irving. Irving the drive. Back to James. Cavaliers lead and a foul. The Warriors, when motivated, are a different beast. Like, seriously. When they came out on that evening of January 16, 2017, just three weeks after losing the Christmas Day battle, the Warriors sought revenge. The Warriors. The dubs led for 47 minutes and 41 seconds. Like, think about that. It was pure domination, including a 41-point second quarter outburst that saw the Warriors shooting on an unconscious 75% from the floor, including 60% from downtown. The Warriors had the Cavs number all year long. After Christmas Day, Steph's Warriors were 6-1 against Cleveland, including this run-of-the-mill 35-point blowout. I'll say it again, a motivated Warriors team is unstoppable. No Steph, no Andrew Wiggins, heck, no KD? <laughs> It really doesn't matter. Green coming the other way. DiVincenzo gets a clean look. Three-pointer is good. Off the bounce. Green ahead. Here's Jordan Poole. Poole goes up and throws it down. Thompson on the drive. Jerome a corner three. It's good. Moody to drive. Up and under. And he backs it home. Here's DiVincenzo in for the layup. Back for Ty Jerome. DiVincenzo a three. Bang! The discrepancy between the Warriors' home and away record is still alarming, but when it comes time to bury your foes, I seriously don't think there's been another team in NBA history that responds better to a challenge than the Warriors. Steph had been out since early in December with a shoulder injury, and neither was Andrew Wiggins available for the team, but like I've routinely said, Clay and Draymond are the emotional leaders of this team, and they take things personally. Who do you look at around the league as you're studying and say, we're gonna have to run through them. Celtics. No one in the West. Nah, I'm fine in the West. Morant, blocked by Green! Clay, they've said that you guys are old, that the road to the championship goes through Boston, not necessarily Golden State. I think you showed Dylan Brooks what you think about all that, but what message did you want to send tonight? Man, they was talking about dynasty and all that. You can't talk dynasty when you haven't won before. I don't think people realize how hard that is, the commitment and sacrifice it takes. I mean, you got to sacrifice your body. And I thought that was premature talk, you know, to talk, to even mention that word. <laughs> Ah! 
This stems from last season and some words Clay had for Memphis after winning the championship. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing. Freaking bum. You're gonna mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there, we know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. Clay was, of course, talking about the playoff series between his team and the Grizzlies a couple of rounds earlier during the postseason. You could talk all the trash you want, provided you actually win, of course. Jaron Jackson tweeted strength in numbers, then lost to the dubs in the playoffs. Dylan Brooks called Memphis a dynasty, then proceeded to get blown out on Christmas Day. Oh, and John Morant did a little talking too, but like his other teammates, he didn't see much success after the fact. Grind and heart to tie this series at one apiece. Let's stay, they bounce back after a crushing game two loss. A 30-point win, and now have a 2-1 to one lead in this best-of-seven Western Conference semifinal. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Warriors play their best when all their buttons are pushed, because they'll either blow out the other team or run you out of the gym in the third quarter, or score 50 points in a single quarter and remind you why they are the most explosive team in the NBA. Since the 2016-17 NBA season, there have been nine instances where an NBA team scored 50 or more points in a single quarter. And of those nine times, the Warriors scored 50 or more points four times. This means it's rare that 50-point quarters will happen in the NBA. But if it does, chances are that it's the Warriors who pulled it off. Just like the time the Warriors scored 51 points against the Denver Nuggets in 2019. And I wanted to talk about the time the Warriors scored 50 points in the third quarter against the Los Angeles Clippers in 2017. This is hard to believe. I watched every dribble of that third quarter and was convinced that no team would ever replicate what the Warriors did that night. I was wrong because they did it again two years later. Nuggets were one of four. Nuggets have gone eight of ten since, including two threes. Looney! Curry from deep. <laughs> His triple is good. Iguodala running the floor, the former Nugget. Steph Curry, a good look. And another triple. How good is he going to be when he's 25, 26? Final five seconds, Durant in a 51 point quarter. 51 points, 14 assists, 19 of 25 made shots, and at the time, a record 10 three-pointers in a 50 plus point quarter. It didn't just happen that the Warriors were hot that night. They came in with their game face on. The Nuggets and the Warriors entered that contest tied for the first seed in the Western Conference. So the Warriors wanted to make sure Denver knew, yeah, it's still our league, fellas. They wiped them out in the first 12 minutes and never looked back. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the motivated Warriors, and that has been the theme of this video. Hope you enjoyed.